So let's say that strip I just cut off was meant to be a runner to go in here. And I found it's, you know, just a little too tight. So I maybe want to take off one thousandth of an inch and see how that is. I don't want to take too much. So how do I move this fence by the smallest amount that I can? So here's my solution. Three quarter inch piece of MDF. Set the dial to zero, and then I'll see if I can move it by one thou. Not difficult. That's looser, but still maybe a little tight. See if I can move one more thou. Two thousandths of an inch from my original setting. So that feels just right, and had I taken off any more, even another thousandths of an inch, then I would have play in it, whereas here I don't really have any, any wiggle. So there I think I've demonstrated that I can move the fence one thousandths of an inch at a time and get a predictable result. Uh, I've tried this without that dial indicator, and what I ended up doing was I'd just be moving the fence back and forth until I almost got it by luck, because... I would try and move it by what I thought was a thousandth of an inch, but I probably moved it by three or four thousandths of an inch. Then it's too loose, and then I move back, move back too far. You know, you get the idea. There's other applications besides runners for table saw, where you'd want to move the fence very precisely. For example, a mortise and tenon joint, where you're cutting a mortise and tenon on the table saw, and you want to get a nice tight but not too tight fit. The contact point needs to be here above this rail. Because if you were to go up here, say, near where the blade is, then as you tighten the fence, it moves. Because the gripping is from down at this end. 